Okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, this time I will discuss the working principle of a simple water level circuit using the logic gate. Before I explain the working principle, it's good I'll give a little explanation about the background of this circuit and what are component used in this circuit. Okay, let's see. What often happens when filling tank is that people usually always leave the tank for some time and will be turned off when the water has been abandoned. The abundance of water is a waste of water use. Therefore, to make it easier to control water, it needs water level. Water level is a series of electronic to detect the level or level water in the tank. This circuit is very useful for controlling water especially water that is in place that are difficult to reach such as on a building. Water control can indeed be done manually, but using water level is more practical than controlling it manually. Okay, next is simple water level component. The first is get and the output logic will produce 1 if all input are 1. The output logic will produce 0 if one of the input is 0. Next is get not. Get not, also called inverting, generate output that is the upside of the input. Thirdly is get or. The output logic will be 1 if one input logic is 1. The output logic will be 0 if all input logic is 0. Next is logic prop. Logic prop or logic tester is a tool commonly used to analyze and check the logic status, high or low, that comes out of a digital circuit. Okay, next uh, is PDT. Is PDT is a switch that has three terminals. This type of switch can be used as selector. The SPDT switch has an on and off or off and on state. If A on, then B off and vice versa if B on, then A off. The midpoint C on the SPDT is called common and is usually connect with resource. Next, okay next, uh, we can see simulation result of simple water level. Okay, uh, this is simulation result of simple water level. If all sensors are zero because there is no water, all sensor is zero, then the indicator is no water will be on. When the water sensor is full, the water sensor is medium, and the water sensor is very low, is 1. Full water 1, medium water 1, and very low water 1. The water indicator is very low, water will be on. And then, if all sensors are 1, 
all sensors are one. The full water indicator is on.